Yeah, you know, South Alabama Tuesday night, uh, another uh, good opponent from an RPI standpoint. Finished in the regional final last year, and they've got another really good club. Offensively, we we saw them uh, in that Pensacola tournament. We knew they could swing it. Uh, obviously, we knew the arms they had. Uh, for once, we finally didn't see Randy Bell starting against us, which uh, was a blessing. Uh, and I thought we did a good job, you know, jumping out and, and getting the lead there early. Did a fantastic job of, of winning the middle innings. We talk about all the time the separating the three different uh, games. The first three, the middle three, and the last three. And nine times out of ten, if you can win the middle three, you end up winning the ball game because that's where things kind of get relaxed. Energy's big on the front end, energy's big on the back end. But in those middle innings, guys get relaxed, clubs get relaxed. And I thought we did a really good job of not only jumping on them and getting 10 nothing, but we eliminated the situation, had a chance to be bad. We bring in Devin Howman, he gets the one pitch pop up there, the base is loaded to keep it 10 4. Uh, and then we did a fantastic job of just finishing off the week, uh, or finish off the ball game with two runs there in the eighth inning when Scotty Sanders tripled the right to the Yeah, you know, game one against Lamar, it's another one run ball game. Uh, we, we end up on the good side of things, which was fantastic to see again, but a little bit different situation. You know, ball games we had been winning about one run, uh, was either tied late. Uh, with a walk-off hit in the last inning, or, or we had the one-run lead that we, you know, got in bottom of the eighth and took into the ninth and finished off defensively or with an arm. Uh, this was when we jumped out and, and we had a nice little lead there. We were up 6-1, we run the, uh, the squeeze play, works to perfection, uh, but we leave a runner there at third base. You know, at the time it didn't seem like a big run because the fifth inning, sixth inning, whenever it happened, and, and we're up by five runs, but uh, obviously there by the end of the ball game, you know, Lamar's got a physical club. Uh, they really can swing the bat. They did a good job of, of, off a good arm. Uh, with with Carlisle Kessler, the one time we, he hasn't been good for us. They're out of the bullpen. He's been good all year long for us. You've got to get tip your hat to Lamar, what they've done. Uh, they did a fantastic job of scoring some runs off of them. They made it a 6-5 ball game. Uh, but the other guy that brought out of the bullpen thought they did, uh, did a fabulous job of finishing the ball game off. Uh, Josh Green there in the last didn't get the punch out in the ball game. Just uh, another stellar performance in, uh, again, by Max Schroeder to get his fourth win of the season, and uh, overall just a really good team win. Yeah, you knew Saturday that we needed Jaconi to be big for us. Uh, after using three guys at the bullpen Friday night, need to kind of try to save some bullpen for, for Sunday to, to finish off the series, and uh, need at least six, if not seven innings out of Jaconi, and uh, lo and behold, we got even more. You know, the young man pitched a fabulous game, did a fantastic job. And had a chance really early to, to let some things unravel. You know, the first hitter of the game hits a home run. Next guy of the game hits one of the Warren track. Uh, usually that would kind of disturb uh, a pitcher getting hit like that, uh, but not Jaconi. You know, with his mentality and his makeup, he did a fantastic job. He uh, continued to dominate the strike zone. Didn't walk anybody, no free passes. The next thing you know, you look up, and he's rolled nine innings and 110 pitches with a complete game shutout. Uh, you know, offensively, I thought we did a good job swinging the bat. Had some chances there, maybe in the middle innings, kind of the late innings, to, to extend the lead there. It really wanted to kind of put them away. Uh, we kind of left them hanging around there, made it 3-1, and finally scored that run there in the eighth inning, make it 4-1. And even though it was three runs, with the way Jaconi was rolling, those three runs felt like 34. Yeah, we got another uh, good outing there by Kay Grigny. Uh And, you know, this was kind of one of those games, again, had a situation kind of maybe add to it. We were up 4-2. Uh, we ground out there to shortstop for, and throw the guy out there at the plate to extend the lead to 5-2. And, you know, all those Sunday games, in any ball game for this matter, but especially those Sunday games when you're trying to sweep like that, every single run is so valuable uh, to be able to extend that lead and, and continue to to get where you need to be to, to kind of put those teams away. And we didn't do that on, Saturday, on Sunday. And, uh, unfortunately, there's one time in the bullpen this year, our bullpen has been so strong for us all year long, uh, and it's really been a strength of this team. A big part of the reason why we are where we're at right now, uh, from a winning standpoint, and winning the light ball games that we have. But and again, you got to tip your hat to Lamar. It's a big physical club. They did a good job of capitalizing on mistakes. Uh, but again, it went back to free passes. We won a lot of ball games because we've eliminated the free passes between good defense with no errors. Uh, or, or no walks and no hit by pitches, you know, pitching wise. It's been big for, for our, our staff to make sure that they've dominated that zone. And unfortunately, that one there on Sunday got away from us a little bit. You know, very deserving for Corey to get the, uh, the pitcher of the week there. Had a, had a great outing for us. Like we said, you know, we were asking a lot out of him to, to get six or seven innings. 
uh, he gave us even more. And just a, a true competitor uh, to go nine innings of baseball, throw 110 pitches, and not walk a single batter, not give him a single free pass, and the only run after the first uh, swing of the bat there of the game. Uh, just a fabulous job of him and, and a really proven reason why he's on that weekend pitching for us, especially on Saturday on swing day.